Okay, C. Lindelof videos, TI Inspire Cast, multiplying polynomials, just trying to keep this super simple, trying to keep this under three minutes. Super easy thing to do. I'm going to use really simple polynomials, but it does not matter how um, extravagant you make your polynomials, it will work exactly the same way. So we're going to start with this. We're going to start with the expand function. So EX, sorry, P A N. D, you're like, oh my god, there must be an easier way. If you went right here to this button, you could dig through this stuff, find, expand. Oh my god, find, expand right here, and you could choose that instead. But, like, uh, whatever, I decide to do it a different way. So stick with me. Expand. I'm going to put in this polynomial. I'm going to do something, again, very simple. And I'm going to open my second set of parentheses. And I'm going to do 6x plus 8. I'm going to jump to the other side of the parentheses. I just use this right cursor here, right here. You don't have to put in the multiplication sign. You can to make it easier for yourself if you want. Then I'm going to do 5x minus 8. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're multiplying a, a, um, a binomial times a trinomial. It doesn't matter what they look like. You're just going to use this exact same method. It is exactly this simple. Hit enter. And there you have it. If you wanted to, uh, you could fa could copy this and factor it, and then see if there's anything. Because you can see here that, at minimum, we can factor out twos here, right? So you could factor it back out and see if you could draw that out. But just a point. Also, let me be clear about this. Let's say you want to multiply three polynomials, it would work exactly the same way. A polyno uh, excuse me, a binomial times a trinomial work the same way. So I think this is going to pay off for you. I kept the video short just so you would watch it, just so you would add this to the collection of stuff you can do with your calculator. Keeping in mind that most errors that happen in calculus or pre-calculus are unforced errors having to do with the manipulation of algebra. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do.